Hey Brazil, we're going to break some Grandpa's Peas today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinks and welcome to a Bolt Buster episode where we're going to test a popular bolt found in Brazil called the Grandpa Peas. And I have additional information about them since filming these brake tests. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I have or have not lost about seven clips of the footage from when we filmed. It's pretty hard to keep track of all that footage when you film eight episodes in two days. Anyways, it worked out because I got all this great information. Now, Robey Lois donated them, but I cannot seem to find our original conversation because I have like 17 different ways messages come through and I can't find the original conversation, but that's okay. Bobby did research before we tested them and found out you put them in basically backwards. And Rodrigo Mota emailed me and asked me if we would test Grandpa Peas. And I was like, oh, we already did. And he actually knew a lot about them. He showed me this clip, which was interesting. If the quick draw gets lifted up, it could technically unclip the carabiner, which is terrifying. But you don't want to trust the welds because they're usually not done by professionals. And so you want to pull on the stud and not the actual P part of the P. Now this is a 12 millimeter rod of metal. And so if you drill a 12 millimeter hole, we found it was impossible to get it all the way in. And Rodrigo also said that sometimes if you can't get them all the way in, but they are within a finger of touching the rock, that they're super good enough. And you can even kind of cheat and put your sling behind it in case you just quite can't reach for whatever reason. But we found in order to get them all the way in, you can't use a half inch or 12.7 millimeter drill bit, or they just go in and out and there's no tension on the bolt inside the rock. So you have to take a 12 millimeter and wallow it out. And the next clips of us installing this will make a lot more sense. Now these are not stainless steel, but Rodrigo said that corrosion related accidents are super, super, super rare. They are mostly the welds failing or the fact that the carabiner is unclipping. It's all terrifying. So I had already drilled 12 millimeter holes. Uh, that did not go in nearly as well as I was hoping. So we're going to size or at up, all. Or at all. <laughs> we're going to size up to half inch. So my finger is uh, the depth of the hole. My middle finger here. Gotcha. Is ah. how deep the hole is. So that's how deep the hole is. Gotcha. So the whole thing's going to be in a half inch. Yep. All right. Do they use half inch drill? <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, that is a half inch hole. There. Okay. We're still going to test that on this. Are you wallowing over there? A little bit. Um, so we wallowed the hole out to uh, give us a little advantage getting it started. The bottom of the hole is still 12 millimeter. All right, go for it. So, ooh, some resistance. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, like that's, it. That's in there. I'm impressed. Sixteen, twenty, twenty-five. Oh, beetle, twenty-five. <laughs> wow! Oh, it's peeling at the bottom there. Oh yeah. Awesome field goal. Twenty-eight point oh two, and that is interesting. How. It looks rusty inside of that weld. It looks so shiny on the outside. If you've ever used a gram post, put that in the comments below because I've never seen these in my life. This is not confidence inspiring not for long-term use. Welcome to tomorrow. We are now flipped the hydraulic 
facing the other way and we are pulling the grand post in tension. Not sponsored by Bonier, but if you live in Brazil, they make better bolts than this stuff. Just saying. So what size hole is this, Bobby? So this is a 12 millimeter hole and I kind of wallowed the edge, which we found worked for one of those bolts over there. The only one that went all the way in. All right, go for it. Sounds like a piton. Yeah, it does. Come on, Bobby. So just like our first test in shear, we are going to test it with it halfway out. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, Bobby. Like it, Bobby. Oh no, it's bending. Let me try. Am I stronger than Bobby? Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. It's in further than the other one. I'm gonna drill the next hole. Man, if there were only instructions on the internet on how to install these. <laughs> this is a half inch drill bit. They're all installed tightly this much. Let's find out what they pull out at. <laughs> I feel like I'm testing people. Wow, it looks like a monkey's butt. Ah, pulled out, but albeit a high force. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised that that weld held. Yeah. Yeah, because that weld's not really designed to hold anything. It's, the carabiner's supposed to be clipped like this and be pulled down. Keep an eye on the slow mo. Oh, that weld was not good. See? Is that a rusty one? No, no, there's no rust in it. That's not that high. Very different results. All right, well that has a rust colored area inside of that and that does not and they didn't pull out at all. With a very impressive result. Wow. Well, I am impressed for something that has nothing holding it in there other than just sheer brute force. It makes me feel better about pitons, but I like to have my bolts either have a cone and a wedge at the bottom or some glue holding it in there. But uh, there's a chance if you've climbed in Brazil, you've climbed on these. If you are from Brazil, please leave a comment below that you are. So we know how many people from there are stoked on these videos. If you are from Brazil and you need to buy some bolts, you can go to Bonier because they actually sell stuff that's standardized and doesn't have such a variable in the results of their welds. Uh, this is a very clever bolt. It's awesome that they were donated and that we got to test them because we do want to test every bolt in every configuration we possibly can here at Bolt Busters. We are almost at 400 bolt brake tests. I do want to go to a thousand just because that's a big number and for no other reason. But we have learned so much and it's all in the bolting Bible. And all of our tests, instead of going to the Bolt Buster chart in slackline.com, which is really awful to read, uh, it's going to be in the book of numbers. So in 20 minutes, if you glance at all this stuff, you can learn everything we learned over several years.